We did not expect to find such a dark exoplanet. They hide in the shadows, giving off no light of their own. Now scientists are asking, are we missing something? Ladies and gentlemen, we are over at the Evening Standard because they set the standard for darkness. Darkness, everybody! Darkness is pretty! We're talking about how the Hubble telescope captures pitch black planet that eats light. Well, my first question is, how many calories does light have? My second question is, is light a fruit, a vegetable, a bread, or meat, or other? I guess it's both energy and matter. So it can be both meat, a vegetable, and a bread. Light is that fantastic. Okay, before I get too far off the rails. There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? The dark side. And the light. Everyone who dicks wants to talk about planets. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Hit the button, baby. Science is like magic and magic tricks. Astronomy is much like Hogwarts. School of Wizardry and Science Craft. We're talking about how the Hubble Telescope captures pitch black planet that eats light. Well, my first question is, you know, I should cut to the clip of David Morrison. This is silly. If there were such an object, anybody could see it. It would be one of the brightest things in the sky. So now you can just tell him, well, maybe Nibiru is like one of these light eating planets and that you can't see it because it's eating the light. You never know it could happen. This is two days ago by Harriet Pavey. Hey, it looks like a sun baby with the weird orbit. Wasp, white Anglo-Saxon Protestant 12b, is one of the darkest known planets outside of our atmosphere. All right, they're talking so much about it. That means we're definitely not going to see photographs. The exoplanet, called Wasp 12b, is one of a class of so-called hot Jupiters, or sun babies. It depends on, you know, how you want to define stuff. The sun baby is basically a hot Jupiter. These gigantic gaseous planets orbit very close to their host star and are heated to extreme temperatures, scientists say. But remember, scientists say a lot of shit. The planet's atmosphere is so hot that most molecules are unable to survive on the blistering orb where the temperature is over 2,500 degrees Celsius, making it as hot as a small star. Because of the heat, clouds cannot form to reflect light back into space. Instead, incoming light penetrates deep into the planet's atmosphere, where it is absorbed by hydrogen atoms and converted to heat energy. Well, usually, if something is super hot, then something else is trying to penetrate it. Is that PG-13 enough? You see, WASP-12b traps at least 94% of visible starlight falling into its atmosphere. I'd like to see the calculation for that. I'd also like to see a photograph of this light-eating planet. If it ate the light, how could you see it? According to NASA, this means it looks as black as fresh asphalt. I like how they just quote NASA. Like, you don't even have to quote scientists. It's like, well, it's somebody from NASA. Asterisk. We did not expect to find such a dark exoplanet. Darkness. They just name it Charlie Murphy. Said Taylor Bell of McGillicuddy University in the Institute for Research on Exoplanets in Montreal. Whoa, they're dissecting exoplanets in Montreal, Canada? Maybe the flat earthers were right and they got a giant dome there. Maybe Canada runs the world. Crazier things have happened. Lead researcher of the Hubble study who refuses to show us a photograph. You see, most hot Jupiters reflect about 40% of starlight. This new Hubble research further demonstrates the vast diversity among the strange population of hot Jupiters. You see, hot Jupiters can vary between temperatures of 2,500 Celsius and 1,200 degrees Celsius. You are smarter for knowing all this crap. It was first spotted in 2008. Well, <laughs> 12B and NASA just told us about it. No, I think they're just recycling old crap. It's 1,400 light years away, and it resides in the constellation Arrigia, and it orbits a star just like our own sun. See, sun baby. They tell us stuff, man. They tell us stuff between the lines. Sun baby, sun baby, sun baby, sun baby. Hot Jupiters are sun babies. Crashing this theory, totally bullshit. Stars give birth to stars. It's like people give birth to people. Bears give birth to bears. Horses give birth to horses. And politicians give birth to shit people believe for some reason. 
despite all the evidence facing them in the last 40 years. Or since JFK got his brain blown all over his wife. Is it talking about, oh yeah, some baby. I mean, hot Jupiter. I mean, this article's done. All right. Wow, this one is short. I don't know if I've ever done a short video before. Okay, peace out. Y'all stay cool. I hope we learned something today. Some baby. Yep, hot Jupiter. Darkness. Super black hot Jupiter. All right. All right. All right. I'm not going to say all right. Dang it. Peace out. God bless everyone. Oh, this got to be good.